Hey guys, uh, I'm submitting this to the the Sizzle Committee. These are some of the changes I've come up with the C2P since uh, the Argos event. First thing is going to be the, uh, we'll just do the filter here. As you can see, it's a six gallon bucket and I've changed the filter by by doing it this way. First of all, looking inside, you see at the bottom is an inch and a half pipe. Underneath that are a bunch of uh, half inch holes. The idea is that this gets filled up with filter medium. Uh, in this case, it, it you know could be straw, hay. I'm just going to dump in a whole bunch of uh, wood shavings. But this will be a preliminary filter to get rid of some of the early dust. So you could use about anything that's going to just stop dust. Okay, as far as the filter goes, okay, Annie, you can be quiet. So what I have on here, got to apologize, Annie likes to bark whenever I'm talking to myself. This is the system. Uh, you can see this flips down and kind of hard to do here. This is a, a pressure fit. Basically it's a four inch cap. This is a 50 micron uh, water filter. Uh, this cap at the upper end just sits on. So this is just a press fit in there. Then this bale swings up and basically it holds it in place uh, and then, of course, the filter sock then goes on top of that, and this screws in place. Uh, same mounting mechanism as I had earlier. Okay, let's move to the, the plumbing. There's a quick release. They're called gator locks. Basically, you unlock it like this, and this pulls right out. Makes it easy to disengage the, uh, the pipe. Uh, this is the gas that comes up here to a union. Here again to make it easy to unhook. Okay, here is the new, this is the new cyclone. I added six inches onto it, the original 12 inches. Um, the bottom is just like it was before. It has a, just a clone cylinder in it. To hold the dust, fits in place, screws tight. Okay, the top, Bruce, you're gonna like this. Unscrew the cap, and inside is the steel wool, and this just looks down into the uh, cyclone. So the gas then comes up through the steel wool, then exits the hole right there, and into the filter. So easy, quick change, everything out. The other thing I changed was the handle on the lid. As you can see, it's now one inch square tubing instead of a signpost. And what I did was make a latch so it's a one-handed. You push down on the handle and then you just take your thumb, flip the latch, and it disengages. It's also spring-loaded, so it's much easier now to open and close the lid. And that's about all I changed. I did, just for giggles, I mounted the uh, this hand crank blower onto it, so I'll give this a try. But I also have the 12-volt uh, fan uh, that mounts here normally. So. We'll just see how it works. Okay, those are the only modifications I made. I did move the, the water drip from one side to the other. I added the little sight glass, so you can see the uh, oil dripping in here and down the pipe here. This nozzle is tilted slightly downhill, unlike the previous version, so anything you drip in there, water, glycerin, oil, will flow downhill 
and of course the exhaust return pipe back to the engine okay guys so oh one other thing these are the heavy duty uh, salvage drums these are heavy duty steel um, uh, I'm not sure what gauge they are but they are definitely thicker than the standard drum so let me submit this to the sizzle committee to see what you guys think about it okay bye